U.S. Republican presidential candidates are arriving in Las Vegas ahead of tomorrow's final matchup of the year. And a new poll is giving Donald Trump his widest lead yet. CNN's Athena Jones is following this and joins us now from Las Vegas. Athena, Trump is surging ahead in this new poll. Hi, Linda, that's right. It's a new national poll out from Monmouth University that shows Trump leading with 41 percent of support from Republicans and Republican leading voters. That's far ahead of the second place finisher in that poll, Ted Cruz, at just 14 percent. As you mentioned, this is the first poll that meets CNN standards to show Trump with more than 40 percent support. That is a huge lead and a huge number. And this comes uh, as we uh, wait for tomorrow night's debate. Trump will be center stage, flanked by Ted Cruz and Ben Carson. But with Cruz surging in Iowa, according to several recent polls, we know that Trump now won't be the only target as these candidates try to stand out tomorrow night. Only one day away from the last GOP debate of the year in Las Vegas. And for these 13 candidates, one last chance to make an impression heading into the holiday season. The main debate lineup seeing most of the same players as last time. And no surprise here, front-runner Donald Trump again taking center stage. Chris Christie moving up to the main stage. Trump will be flanked by Dr. Ben Carson and Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who's now surging in Iowa, according to this Fox News poll released Sunday. <laughs> On Saturday, the Des Moines Register and Bloomberg Politics releasing their own poll, showing Cruz ahead of Trump by 10 percentage points in the state. I'm very glad. Donald Trump is in this election. Well, it is a little bit of a romance. I like him. Their bromance beginning to wane after audio from a private fundraiser captured Cruz questioning Trump's judgment. Well, I'll tell you what, my judgment's great. I built a multi, multi, multi billion dollar company, some of the greatest assets in the world. I have good judgment. I have great judgment. I would say I have far better judgment than Ted. Trump later tweeting, I was disappointed that Ted Cruz would speak behind my back, get caught, and then deny it. And after Trump said this about Cruz's temperament... Well, you look at the way he's dealt with the Senate, where he goes in there like a, you know, frankly, like a little bit of a maniac. You're, not, you're never going to get things done that way. Cruz tweeting, in honor of my friend Donald Trump, with a link to Flashdance's popular song, Maniac. Carson, once Trump's nearest rival, now dropping in the polls. Poll numbers go up and down. I, was, I wasn't excited when they're up. I'm not excited when they're down. People will make the correct choice. Heightened fears of terrorism around the world and right here at home could make for fireworks on stage tomorrow night. This is a new environment inside the campaign right now. And so that this will be the first time that the candidates take the stage in that new landscape. Now, several candidates are going to be trying to have a breakout performance tomorrow night to give their campaigns a boost. And for anyone wondering whether Trump is ready to take on his now top rival, Ted Cruz, on the stage tomorrow night, he all but assured us those hits would be coming, telling Jake Tapper on State of the Union, referring to Cruz, I expect to get it on. Linda? <laughs> Athena, we're certainly looking to see whether there is going to be any sort of fireworks between Ted Cruz and Donald Trump. It's interesting to note, I guess, that Ted Cruz is one of the only candidates who hasn't publicly attacked Donald Trump. Do you think that has played in his favour? Is that the reason he may be ahead in the polls in Iowa? Well, this is interesting. It's a very good question. It's clearly a calculated move on Senator Cruz's part. He wants to appeal to the people who are right now supporting Donald Trump. He believes, he said this privately and, and certainly hinted at it publicly, that, uh, that, that Donald Trump's campaign is going to fade, Ben Carson's as well, and that his campaign will benefit. And there's some, uh, some data backing that up in the polls showing that, uh, in many instances, uh, Cruz is the second choice of Trump supporters. Certainly, he seems to have gained... Uh, uh, gained uh, from Carson's uh, demise or Carson's fall, I should say, uh, in polling in Iowa. So it seems like a calculated move by Senator Cruz. We'll see if he's able to keep it up tomorrow night because, look, if, if, if Trump comes after him, he's going to have to decide whether he should try to ignore it and brush it off and use humor or, or fight back, uh, whether it'll make him look better to fight back. So we will all be watching for that very, very closely. Linda? <laughs> We certainly will. Uh, the other thing that's interesting to note is uh, this latest national poll, which
shows Donald Trump surging ahead. The widest gap yet between him and the other candidates, of course, comes after he said that uh, Muslims should be banned from entering the U.S. How is that playing out within the Republican campaign, within the Republican Party? Well, this is very interesting. Everyone, practically, except for Trump supporters, uh, uh, certainly within his party, party leaders, other candidates, obviously Democrats and, and others have denounced uh, Trump's proposal to ban all Muslims from coming into the U.S. But if you talk to a lot of his supporters at his rallies, uh, certainly people supporting him on Twitter, they say, listen, he, he's speaking the truth. We have to do this. We, we don't know if Muslims are our are, are friends, our are, are enemies. Uh, they support his move. And this new poll seems to suggest, certainly, that that proposed ban hasn't hurt him when it comes to, to, to the Republican Party more broadly. So uh, I expect him to continue to press that case tomorrow night, to continue to defend it. He hasn't backed off from that so far. And the reason he hasn't backed off is because his supporters support him in this. And, and as I said, these new numbers seem to indicate that a, a lot of Republicans uh, support this approach, Linda. Yeah, it's very interesting. And, uh, of course, Trump did say to Jake Tapper that he had Muslim friends who supported this policy. So it'll be interesting to see what he says tomorrow night. Athena Jones, thank you very much. Thanks. Now, CNN's coverage of the Republican debate on Tuesday starts at 11 p.m. in London. That's 12 midnight Central European time. Or you can watch the replay at 8 p.m. Wednesday in London or 9 p.m. CET right here on CNN.